Mr. and Mrs. McDaniel, you and Mr. White are neighbors. Yes. You've been neighbors for how long? Uh, six years. And you have two little dogs like yes. this? Yes, two chihuahuas. And Mr. White, you have larger dogs? I have one larger dog, yes, ma'am. You have only one dog? No, we have two dogs. One's also small. The larger dog, what kind of a dog is that? He's an Australian Shepherd. He's 60 pounds. And the little dog that you have? She's also a mini Australian Shepherd. And you have a fenced yard that separates the two properties? Yes. It is your claim, Mr. and Mrs. McDaniel, that Mr. White's dog came into your yard and injured this puppy. That's your claim. Mr. White says that that never happened. He has actually video of your dogs getting into his yard. And he said that after this incident, you threatened and assaulted him. He's got a counterclaim. He also wants you to pay half of what the cost was to fix the fence so that the fence was secured for both sets of dogs. And you want your vet bills paid. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So when did this incident happen? August 29th. Were you at home? Yes. Did you see the incident? Yes, ma'am. Okay, tell me what happened. Um, at approximately 12.30 p.m., I let uh, both of my dogs outside to use the bathroom. I closed the door behind me. As soon as I heard some commotion, I went back and... Was it almost immediately that you heard a commotion? Or yeah, within a few seconds. Okay. So I went back outside. Um, I saw his dog had my dog's paw in his mouth. Which dog, the larger one or the small The one? larger one. And that was in your yard? Yes, there was a broken plank on the fence. I'm just asking you, okay. his dog, what's your dog's, the large dog's name? His name's Teddy. So Teddy was in your yard? No. Where was Teddy? He was in the neighbor's yard. There was a broken plank and his dog is re had reached under to grab my dog. Well, you didn't see that. What you saw was, you said you saw your dog's paw in his dog's mouth. Yes, at the fence line. At the fence line. Yes, ma'am. And you're gonna show me this plank? Yes, ma'am. I'd like to see the plank. Do you also have a picture of this plank before it was fixed? I do, ma'am. I'd like to take a look at that. This was taken by animal control, ma'am. Is what you're referring to this area right here? Yes, ma'am. Well, there's no question that a 60-pound dog can't get in here. Yes, yeah, uh, he was reaching under. There's no question that a 60-pound dog can't get under here. Visually, his, it's impossible. His mouth could. His mouth could get under there. Possible. But I don't think that that's what you saw, sir. I'm looking at this, and that's not what you saw. It is what I saw. So his mouth could squeeze here, and what you're suggesting to me is your little dog put his paw out and he was holding on to his paw, trying to get his whole body in here. Is that what you're suggesting that I try to visualize? Yes, my dog was at the fence. He reached under, grabbed her paw, and was trying to pull her through the fence. I don't believe it. I'm sorry, sorry. you don't believe it. All right, that's a good story. Okay. So that's what you saw. You took the dog to the vet, and then you went and confronted the defendant. That's your story? Yes, ma'am. I'd like to see the video of the defendant's dogs in your yard. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me when the video was taken? It's time stamped on her phone, Your Honor. She can look it up. How are you this related? Is, you this is I'm, my wife. I'm his wife. Okay. Sorry. Can you I tell me when it was taken? Yes, ma'am. December, December 11th, 2015. And this incident happened on August 29th? Yes. Of 2000 2017. Okay. <laughs> That's our dog, ma'am. Oh, 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 oh. What got in our yard? What's in our yard, Teddy? 